Welcome back to JB Reviews. I got some exciting news. I need your help building some hotshot cabin chassis pickup trucks. Oh yes, if you are a hotshotter or if you know someone that is, I need you guys to get active in the comment section. So Ken, who is a commercial guy at the Larry H. Miller Super 4 store in Salt Lake City reached out to me. He has some Ford F-550s available and he wanted to see if I wanted to help him put some hotshot bodies on basically and I was like absolutely I've always wanted to see the process so you're gonna see some videos in the future of me showing you guys how they install them on the trucks and pretty much give you some information with these videos so if you're a hot shotter if you're thinking about getting into hot shot or if you know someone that might be looking to get into it these videos will be very helpful the goal here is to build some trucks out and then have them available for you guys if you would like to purchase them and yeah, this is gonna be some pretty exciting stuff. But tomorrow I will be heading over to Tallboy, which you guys will see in the video. So let's go ahead and jump over. All right guys, so we just made it to Tallboy Truck Equipment. I'm gonna introduce you to some guys. So you guys know Ken. He works at Larry H. Miller. How you doing? And Trevor. You introduce yourself? Trevor? Yep, Tallboy Truck Equipment. We uh, build, build work trucks. Nice, nice. Yep. So if you're looking for a cabin chassis or if you have already have one on order, you guys can reach out to Tall Boy. They can do all the beds. They have all the information you would ever need. Let's go and take a look at the shop and then we'll kind of go over some builds too. Let's do it. Let's go. Wow. So people bring us trucks, cabin chassis, and we'll uh, we'll get it set up so they can go to work. Yeah, absolutely. Um, this one, the guy's gonna be putting on a, a skirted aluminum. Okay. No, that one's gonna be a steel. They're putting a skirted steel bed on it. Mm -hmm. The boxes will be built in underneath it. Yeah. We can show you the bed outside. Hey, what manufacturer do you guys use for your beds? Just different different ones. A lot of times it depends on on what they want. Okay. Um, but we do for like service bodies and crane bodies. We do a lot of mailerons. Okay. Like uh, CM is that one of the companies you guys use? Or? Yep. So we'll we'll do some of the some of the CMs. PJs, okay. Bradford, whatever, whatever style the customer is looking for. Got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. That's good. So, vans. A lot of times people bring us the vans, and we'll put the the shelves inside it, racks, ladder racks, whatever, whatever they need. Okay. So partitions that'll help protect the the driver awesome. if if they get in an accident. Good stuff. So this one's a Milron. It's an all aluminum service body. Okay. Uh, the nice things about this, with it being aluminum, there it's gonna save you a lot of a weight, so you can maintain your payload. It's not gonna rust. Um, it's just gonna look a lot better, a lot longer. It's nice. They come with the compression latches with the three-point locking system, mm -hmm. the roller rods on top, and it'll just seal off nice, so you don't get moisture, dust, or anything in there. Nice. Yeah, I see that weather seal on there too. Looks yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, another nice thing is the oh, flip top yeah. compartments. And this one does, it does have compartment lighting in all of it. Mm -hmm. uh, flip lids, compartments, so you can work it, work at night, see where, what you're doing. Can another you, thing I like about these is it's got the cutout for the flip lids. Yeah. That's so nice. a lot of them are like the tub style mm -hmm. compartments, and so you have to look up and inside it. Yeah. Whereas this one, you can. You, Kind of see, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you guys do like the keyless entry for these compartment doors too, or? Right now, they Milleron is offering the keyless entry. Okay. We talked to them about it a little bit, but they just said they've run into more issues than than the benefits. Got you. Okay. So a lot of people will go with the master locks in the back. Mm -hmm. That way, you can you just have that one one rod that'll close, and you put a padlock on it. Oh, nice. It'll lock all the the doors on the on, the, on that side. Gotcha, gotcha. Another nice feature about these Milrons uh -huh. is oh, they put the fuel nice. in the compartment. That is nice. So I it'll like be that. locked up, nobody can steal or tamper with your fuel. It'll have a nice gravity feed into yeah. the tank. That's been an issue because a lot of times you'll see them mount it right here. Mm -hmm. And when it's right there, you don't have a good feed into the tank and it'll sometimes back out okay guys gotcha. that's good to know actually wow yeah i like the design too and see if somebody wants to steal fuel they don't know where to look for it yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this is the racket forklift loadable aluminum rack uh -huh. 
Um, these ones are nice. Again, you can load your material with the with the forklift uh -huh. and unload it on the job site. It just saves you time. Wow. Right here, you've got the quick release pin. So it'll swing out. Wow. Oh, and it locks in that way. It'll oh. pin, pin right there. That's nice. And then quick release on the, the center bar and move it forward. And that way you have full access to your, your oh, bed if you're nice. loading anything in that's... Dude, that's awesome. Be able to fall. So, wish we had one that was a little cleaner for no, it's you. okay. It's, it's clean. <laughs> they, they can't probably see that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and start going over some of the builds I want to do for this hot shot body that we're going to build. So, want to go ahead and take it away, Trevor? Yeah, so this is a, this would be your standard hot shot build. Um, it'll come with these the rails, so you can either attach a gooseneck ball mm -hmm. or a fifth wheel hitch. It goes up to a 30,000 pound rating. It has a 24,000 pound bumper pull rating. Okay. And it just looks clean. You have the fenders to keep keep the mud and everything off the the load, and from spraying mm -hmm. spraying everywhere. Yeah. And then this one, they they're showing the combo, the toolbox combo tank. Oh, so nice. it'll have the auxiliary tank that'll run fuel into your um, your stock tank, so that you can get more mileage. Nice. And then you have the toolbox just for straps or anything extra that that you need on there. Now, do you know off the top of your head, if someone got this body, could you still do the dual tank from the factory? Yeah, you can. Okay, perfect, perfect, yep. perfect. Nice. And what's the next one you want to show to? This one has a headache rack? That yeah, this one's, this one's nice because it does come with that headache rack with nice. the DOT lighting up there. Just extra extra protection for the, for the passengers. Yeah, yeah. Um, Hitchcrafters is another popular one. Theirs doesn't have the the headache rack. Okay. This is um, a little cheaper? It'll be a little bit cheaper and then it also has some different fifth wheel options mm -hmm. and it goes up to a 34,000 pound uh, rating. Okay. Yep. Okay. Nice. So Trevor, yeah. which way should I go? Should I go with the Hitchcrafters? I know that you talked a little bit off camera here, but what do you think? What's your favorite brand so far that you've been doing? I like that first one that I showed you with the headache crack that from PJ. Yeah. It's more complete, looks cleaner, um, and and you can switch out the the hitch. Nice. Is you said a little bit more easier to install too? Yeah, okay. it's gonna be easier to install. Okay, I like see I like that already. It seems like it's gonna be more reliable since it's more easier to install. Okay. Right. That's good to know. And now what about the hitch crafters? You said it what was the advantage for that one? It has the thirty four thousand oh, pound fifth wheel hitch. Gotcha, gotcha. So if you need to tow thirty four thousand, you're towing heavy loads cross country, I guess that might be the way to go. I do like the headache rack too. I think it does yeah. make it more complete. I like the safety aspect of it yeah. too. And it's not like you, you can't add that sure onto sure. it, but it's just easier to do when it comes in as a complete unit. Mm -hmm. So some of these guys, if they're in a time crunch and they need something quick, yeah. it's gonna be a lot faster to just put a PJ on. Okay. And, and, and put who, it ship, work. who ships faster? Like if someone needs a bed tomorrow, who ships the fastest? Oh, it depends. It depends. We <laughs> just have shipments, because we do a lot of those BJ flatbeds and yeah. some of their service bodies. So we have shipments coming all the time. So for us, that would probably be quicker, but Hitchcrafters does ship pretty quick as okay. well. No, that's good to know. Well, I got a lot to think about. You want to give me some pricing so I can go ahead and head over to the Ford store and get a truck built? Yeah. All right, let's go. So I just got to the Ford dealer and I'm going to have Ken show us the truck that he has in stock that we could probably work with. If you would like to buy this truck um, and put a hot shot or whatever bed you want on it, feel free to reach out to Ken. I'll be sure to put his information in the video. So let's go ahead and check out this truck and then that'll pretty much end the video. So here it is. This is the one that is available. No body on it. And yeah, I mean, this is a this is the 84 inch cab to axle? Correct. Okay, so yeah. yeah. So this one here, I'm gonna do a video on this one for you guys. You'll see this in a little bit. But yeah, this is a longer wheelbase. And the good thing about these, the ride for the longer wheelbase is so much better. So if you are thinking about doing hot shot and you want a better riding truck, even though of course towing a trailer, you're gonna have that load which is going to help too but these trucks ride so much nicer than the shorter 60 inch cab to axle so yeah yeah let's go ahead and get a price on the truck and i'm going to have tall boy give me a price on the uh holler bed or hot shot bed i keep getting mixed up it's going to be a hot shot bed that's hot, what we're doing hot shot bed on this truck yeah, yeah. hot shot bed that's on this what truck. our plan is there you go 
Yeah, unless someone else wants it for another reason. This truck's available, and like I said, just ready for someone to do something with it. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So good Thank looking you, truck. They're hard to come by. So, yeah. yeah. So I'll go ahead and get the window sticker for this truck. I'm going to show you guys all the pricing in the video for this truck plus the bed. Cool. Thanks, bro. Okay, you bet. Thank you. Unfortunately, we had to pump the brakes, guys. So a couple of the trucks that they have there that are available, they're 84 inch cap to axle Lariats. They're not max tow. I told Ken, if we're gonna be building a hot shot truck, let's get max tow trucks that can actually haul, you know, whatever the, I think it was 33,000 pounds. And they have a 43,000 pound gross combined weight rating. So we're gonna see if another truck that they have there is gonna work. This one is an XLT and it has a 60 inch cap to axle. So we might use this truck instead. And then maybe we'll order a truck, or I'll order a truck under my name for the dealership. And so we'll build another one in the future. So that one will be the baby for the channel, I think. But hopefully you guys will learn something from this. I've always wanted to build a hotshot truck. I've always wanted to learn more about these builds because I love doing videos on these. Um, and they're so much fun because it's literally a work truck and it's a workhorse. So it, this will be beneficial for people who might want to get in a hot shot or already in it and just, hey, we'll have some trucks available. So if you are in the market, you might be able to pick this truck up for yourself. But be sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure your notification on. I will get some pricing for you guys really soon. Just hang in there with me until we can get everything squared away. All right. See you soon.